So this Q&A was supposed to be done yesterday, my apologies, obviously with the leaving sort and everything, you know, I've been very busy. Um, you know, obviously only a few weeks left at school, so that's why I'm a bit, you know, a bit over, <laughs> overworked at the moment, so I'm just kind of relaxing a bit more. So I hope you understand, so my apologies again, it's a bit late. So we get started straight away, so we have a few questions here, and I just want to tag everybody first of all for leaving their questions. Um, hopefully you have everybody's question. So let's get started. So angry ads went, so this is the top uh, comment here. Should Kevin get independence from Ireland? So I was thinking about this um early one actually. Um because I seen it obviously and I was like I was thinking about it early on. Um and I think you know, Kevin would be a decent se semi independent state, I suppose. Um with with its own government, I suppose, and its own departments. Um it would be good. Um to be honest in a Kevin having more freedom. At least it'd be it would be better, it probably would be better than these clowns, scum beans that we have in the government in Dublin. Um, you know, it'd probably be a lot better if you could, could you, the people of Calvin could control you, can vote whoever they wanted in. Um, and you know, people in Calvin have their own say and they only worry about their own county. Um, you know, a lot of things would be done. I feel like a lot of things would be done and Calvin would be a lot better place too. If that's self governance, obviously, not, not outside, I'm not saying that out, the Calvin should succeed from the Irish Union. Um, in other words, the Irish, the Irish Republic. Um, so you know, it would be nice to see. Um, because again, in this country, you know, it's kind of I don't know what you would call it, the banana republic at this stage. Um, a Western people for anything really. Um, at least if it was a semi tribal state, you know, you'd be able to do it. So. So. Um, let me see. Where am I here? I'm trying to see which uh, which one should I say because I have a few here to choose. Um. So yeah. So what's uh, so Ian McBrien, hoping to say the last name right. And this is a good one now. What what would you say to normal forty you've seen on in public? Here's actually a funny question. Here's actually um, a funny answer. Sorry. Um. So a few once and actually three times when I'm speaking here, I got response from normal forty through, through email, um, on different things, um, from her herself. Her, her, she signed off on them, um. She signed at the bottom, so it's her because it said Minister Foley. Um. So it's herself. Um, so that's as, as far as you know, I ever got talking to her. Um, probably because Fina Fon knows I would tear bits out of her. Um, but I would probably say you're just an absolute bollocks. <laughs> that's, that's just fun to say. Because I, sure, I literally hate Norma Foley with a passion. Um, at a very, like, at a very, like I hate Charlie Flanagan and Paul Kyo, um, former Minister for Defence, but I hate her with a passion because she's just pure, she's pure, just doesn't give a damn about anybody. Um, about, uh, the Western politicians might not care, but she literally doesn't give a damn, and she said it often times herself, she just doesn't care. Um, so, you know, in fairness, she's very open in saying that, but um, she's just a bollocks, and that's just, I, 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 that's literally what I would say to her face, that you're just a bollocks, and just do a sign and get out. Um, so that's what I would say to number four, so it'll be very interesting if I ever do get talking to number four, I just call her bollocks. Um, so Sean Max says, how many cabin people does it take to change the light bulb? The answer is none. Because they are all too tight to buy the new lamp up, new light bulb. Um, well, have you know, Sean? Us cabin people have ways of getting light bulbs. Um, there's underground markets going for um one cent per light bulb. It's a very good deal. Um, you know we don't have to spend any money. It's only one cent. We can rob one cent out of the shops, um, and we can pay for new light bulbs. <laughs> it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's the underground cabin market. May you know. Um, and I probably said too, <laughs> said too much here. The guards will be down, the revenue will be down. We don't want that. Um, <laughs> um, thank, you for the, thank you for the laugh, Sean. Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? So, your Google search history asks, so this might be a bit controversial, what are your thoughts on Jewish people and people who are anti Semitic? Um, well, first of all, that's, that's a huge question to ask somebody. Um, And I tried to take because I, I, I'm obviously being anti Semitic, anybody, it's a horrible thing to do. Um, but uh, what's your thoughts on on Jewish people? Um, people, But I, I don't really know, I, I don't pass much amount. <laughs> and again, um, it's not really prevalent now in the, Jew, the Jewish community, and everything. Um, but you know, I really don't really know, apart from anti Semitic, I, it's a horrible, obviously, it's a horrible thing for people to be anti Semitic towards people. And um, that's really all I could say because there's nothing really else I could say. Um, I don't really have nothing else to say really. It's just really whatever comes into my head that I say first.
Um, you know, I don't think I, I found some to have anything else I don't think there's anything else that pops into my head straight away about it um, what's this emails um, I think that's all yeah I think that's it I don't think I've missed any uh, so thank you everybody for the questions um, so yeah thank you again sorry again it's a day late um, hopefully that answers everybody's question um, so yeah thank you for watching subscribe for more and bye